beautiful viewers and welcome to my youtube channel in case you're new here my name is african nemo a kenyan girl that have been documenting her journey here in Riyadh, saudi arabia guys if it's if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much it's because of you yes you that i always make these videos i really love and appreciate the support that you give me so in today's video guys like you have seen i am super excited actually honestly i am so so happy to share this video because I feel like I'm sharing a part of me, yes, uh, I moved to Saudi Arabia not only because of the job but because I wanted like a space, you know, just go to a new place where you're not known and just have your life, uh, have things figured out. Honestly, when I was coming from Nairobi, Kenya, I was under a depression, a lot was going on in my life and in today's video, because I am just about to share my room tour or my small space here in Saudi Arabia guys I am looking forward to like share the space with you because literally this is just me at the moment this is my life at the moment and I love love the steps that have been happening in my life despite everything that has happened a lot has happened and uh, I did I beat myself really I had given up and uh, as I share this video I just want to tell you that if you're going through something you can always get up and make a move and move towards your goal just don't stay stuck just stay it's good to be confused but again don't be confused for the whole of your life make a move and get up make take the step okay so i'm going to begin this video guys it is a room tour and it is going to begin from here so you come from this way and then come this way to my room so let me rotate the camera so we can start this video like i have told you you will come from this way then come this way and then this way is my room so guys i have on my left i have the bathroom which i will show you and on my right i have my room and then here this is the door that i have opened because I wanted lighting to come in because I'm gonna be using natural light to do this video but this way is a, this is another door so I have like three doors here I have the one on my left I have the one on my right and I have the one to go to the balcony then when you open my door the first thing that you will meet is this beautiful doormat that says welcome yeah you're always welcome to my room and then on my right when you come to my room i have this stand this stand i have like some of my clothes the one that i use mostly here uh, this is just the robe that you see me mostly wearing when i'm going to the bathroom or doing a video then i have like some deras this is just the costume that we use the abaya that i wear when we are going outside then that top that my boss gave to me and yeah that is how beautiful that stand is then uh, I have this bottle over there. It is a five liter. I have put in water because I use it when I am doing squats uh, to make it a bit tense. Then next to this stand, I have these. Uh, it's like a box because inside I have some things, just some clothes that my boss has been giving me whenever I'm cleaning. Yeah. And uh, on top, I have like this scented candle it looks really good yeah and this other one these candles i was given before the lights were fixed in my room then these are my workout ga uh, gears the bands if you know i work out a lot then next to that i have my small space uh that is the chair that i use when i'm eating and this is the stool that they gave me to how to act like a table then i just have these two bottles of water over there and i was taking lemon tea then over here i have this tripod oh my god the condition of my life guys this one is broken but i usually try to make it work before i can get another one so that is basically my tripod then from there we have my shoes and then on that corner i have that basket it has clothes that my boss has been giving me you guys arabic people are so generous they will give you a lot of things then um uh, i have that stand where i have my clothes that is just my working clothes my chilling clothes my workout clothes yeah i just have them on top there then under there i have 
these beautiful handbags. This one was given by my boss, by the way. This handbag was given by my boss. The one that is at the middle, it's a navy blue and it's not clear. That one, I have my makeup in there. Then the other one is the one that I used when I was coming here. You saw that already. Then down there, I have that uh, ironing pussy because I usually iron from my room. Spendiku iron ukochini. Then nikona this comforter. This is the comforters they use here in Saudi Arabia. So every time I want to sit on the mat, I use that comforter. So let me take you back so I can show you well. So that is it. Yeah. Then from that point, you will come to my bed. Okay. So this is the main bed that I was supposed to be sleeping on. That is how basically it looks. Then I used that thing to cover the numbers that were written on the wall. It is just a gift paper that I improvised because I think the former house help that was here had written on the wall so much. I didn't find it so helpful and I found it so ugly. So I decided to like do a DIY on myself. So I covered that area and this is how my bed area looks. Yeah, then uh, on the side I have this bedside stand where I have put my books under there. It's like has a shelf. Let me show you. This is how it looks. So I have my books over there. This is a power bank I was given by someone special. Uh, then I have that mirror. If you know, you know you're still girls. Then I have the current book that I am reading, which is called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale. I really love this book. If you can find it, please buy and read it. Then I have this stand here, this thing that I put my pens, rings and all that. Then I have this, this one I put my earrings, also I was given by my boss. Then this grocery from Nairobi, Kenya, and a bottle of water and some tissues. Then I have this side bed lamp. Yeah, sometimes I use it when I am just in the room at night and I don't want the lights. Yeah, okay, so that is how that corner looks. Do you like my bed, guys? That's my bed area. Then we come next. Uh, on top of that bed, there is the air conditioner. And uh, the next thing you'll see here is my beautiful curtain. Oh my God, I love this curtain so much. Uh, it has like a sheer and the view from my room is usually very, very beautiful. You can see that, huh? You can see, huh? look at that the view from my room is like very very beautiful so every time when i wake up in the morning i open my window and just take a beautiful view then let me tell you something okay let's first of all look at this other side so on this other side there's another bed this is a bed i made myself and uh, the reason why i made this bed it's because there were some extra mattresses here in this room by the way guys let me tell you something this room is a total transformation. Let me just first of all cut this video short and peep you with a video of how this room looked before I cleaned. You guys, it was a whole mess. Just have a look. Look at this. Yeah, so that is how this room was. But uh, I improvised all those mattresses. I put them all together, then made it like a bed. And to be honest, guys, I never sleep on this bed. I always sleep on these mattresses because they are like very puffy and very comfortable, which I love so much. And then on this uh, bed, I have this stand. This stand, I basically just have my pads in here. And uh, these are just my measurement stuff and uh, the yarn that I had bought some time back. Then I have all this makeup, you guys. My boss bought me all these things. I think the only thing that is mine here is this uh, lotion from Nairobi. And uh, what else is mine on this table? Literally nothing. Okay, and this uh, Vaseline, I mean, nice and lovely lotion. What else is mine? Literally, there is nothing else that's mine. Oh, and these are remis. <laughs> if you know, you know. And these are remis. Uh, the rest my boss gave to me. 
all these are just beauty products that my boss gave to me oh my god i just love this madame so much like she always gives me so many things and i really do love that so that is the bed area like i was i told you this girl used to write numbers everywhere so don't mind so and then on this side i have this other two it's like i improvised to make my room look a bit better as well but i have covered some numbers over there i didn't even cover all of them as you can see over there there are some more and uh, we have this corner so now this is my my water this is drinking water that i just br br bring to the room so maybe at night when i need water and this place is so dusty just look at this it is too dusty then i have this clothes that i want to do roundly uh, maybe i'll clean them when i am doing cleaning and yeah basically that is it then i have this mat this is how my mat looks this is the floor of my mat uh, this is the mat that was there then this one was just here in this room but it was not being used so because this one is like old i opted to use this other one to like clear it up and just make my room look a bit more beautiful and basically that is just it what do you think about my room guys hmm? so in case you want to be my guest you're so welcome to my house i will be hosting you yeah so let's go to the next area so when you come this way from my room you go directly to the toilet okay so let's go to the toilet and do the tour but before you get to the toilet you will find this tub here in the mirror yeah so this is just the mirror that i use and i have these stuffs here they are my things a bottle of water that i used to brush my teeth because apparently this one doesn't work but i honestly don't care about that as long as i have my space then when you come into my bathroom mm, look at this the first thing that you will find on the door is this washing machine it actually does work like you can see it actually does work but i honestly don't use it because i have these things up here and because i always do roundly on the ground floor where we have the other machines cleaning machines uh, so i just use this one to place my bathing things so i have this colgate and a toothbrush and uh, some wipes then here, here i have just some bathing essentials i have this comb this is Omo cleaning Omo, and then I have this body scrub. I have this papaya soap that I really recommend you buy if you're in Saudi. Then I have this face mask. I have my bathing stuff. All oh, these are just bathing stuff. Uh, my bathing gel. The other one is finished. These body scrubs. All these things I swear my boss brings them to me then this one is really good it's a really nice exfoliator that i have been using and uh, yeah so then this is the toilet so from this is the toilet i actually love this toilet i don't like the other one that you sit on no i don't like it then uh, that is just how it looks then there's this shower that is not working and i really again don't care because at least i have a tap that has running water let me show you yeah so i just brought a bathing basin so i just shower from here i put water there and set it up and just shower then on this other let me close the door so then over there i have the crolox clorox yeah <laughs> and uh, that disinfectant and the broom that i found here then behind the door i have that holder where i have my bathing thing and towel and all that then yeah this is just basically how my toilet looks it's big enough guys it's really big enough and from there i will take you to my compound now so these are my sandals when i shower then directly from my compound this is one thing that i love so much because i get to enjoy the sunset sometime 
and my compound is like huge enough it is all mine i have those things over there because i was told not to throw them away uh you can see how beautiful it is it is a good escape by the way every time i want to meditate I just come out here and sit especially during the sunset time and just think over then i have this gym to myself i have some workout stuff over there and uh yeah i love this space so much i love this space i actually feel it is home for me and every time i want to rethink i always so come here. basically that's all about this room i hope you like it i hope you love my space and uh, one more thing that i wanted to tell you is that when you come to saudi mostly you will sleep at the rooftop yeah you're given a room where you have your own space at the roof or maybe at the first floor that is ground floor next to the kitchen there is also another room that you can be given to sleep as a house help or if the house is really full of members you can be just given a space in one of the biggest bedrooms maybe where kids sleep and you sleep on that one space so depending on where you're given kindly just accept make it your home and push along the days you're here to push along the days and to make it you know and uh, i really love this space because it gives me like myself the space to myself to be me to do me you know like to reflect this room is just everything to me right now this room it is everything to me right now and i don't take anything for granted i just love this space so much and i appreciate my boss for actually making sure that my room has everything which brings me to the next point it is not necessarily a must to come to saudi arabia and suffer mm -mm. It is not. You can come here and have a good life, uh, be accepted as you are, but remember what you see is what you get, what you want is what you get. So when you come here, just be sure of what you want, put in your work and God is going to bless you in the way that he is going to bless you and he's going to give you the right people, okay, to surround you. So do not be scared, just come and do your job and focus on what brought you here and everything is gonna be all right so guys i've had so much pleasure sharing this with you guys i honestly feel like i have given you the whole space of me so please do me justice and just like this video share it with your friends let it reach many people so that they can see you don't have to come to Saudi Arabia and sleep on the floor, you know, like we all see. Not everybody comes here and suffers and I am rooting for you and uh, anyone that might be interested in working here. Just come and focus on everything that you do and God is going to bless you, okay? So I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Follow me on my social medias. I'm leaving everything in the description box below. I'm going to share even links of other videos that I have done that you may be interested in. And yeah, bye-bye. I love you.